Okay, what's up guys, Robo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make cool Cinema 4D text in uh, Cinema 4D, obviously, so let's uh, get started. Basically, I'm going to be using the Grayscale Gorilla Light Kit here, if you don't have that, um, then I suggest you download it, there are quite a few places where you can get it easily now, and um, it's really handy, so basically you want to click open, and go to wherever I've saved it which is in lighting and then you'll get like this when you've unzipped it now I don't know how to use it properly but I think I do but I'm not sure so basically I always open this uh, lib4d file which is the biggest file there and um, you have to wait for a bit for like only two seconds or a few more um, and then it will come up with this so you want to go into the here and um, then in studios and then in the top one and it always comes up with this little kind of error but you just click OK it doesn't really make a difference and then you want to delete the top three items and studio C and room so it's then you're you're basically left with these three softbox things which are pretty nice I'm going to zoom in so you can't see them and then you want to go to alright my cinema 4D is kind of weird so I have to go here to add text and then you go into MoGraph text object and then I'm going to go back to standard and you can make that bigger so it fits in nicely and I'm going to type in tutorial actually and we're going to use what font I know a nice font that one there we go okay that looks nice and then I'm going to increase the depth because it will look nice with a bigger depth and first thing you want to do is add some caps to it so I'm going to add a fillet cap and that doesn't come up very big but it kind of gives it a nice round edge so I'm going to add two fillet caps and increase the top one to about seven okay um, then I'm going to click on the text control C or I don't know if you can copy it alright control C and then control V so I'll make another one which at the moment you can't see and then when you've clicked on the duplicated one increase the cap size a bit and then click on the blue arrow and just drag it back whoops my bad and then I'm going to drag that back like oh for god's sake um, there that'll do okay alright so there we got the basic text but you want to liven it up with some materials so if you double click to create a new texture and then I'm going to go for kind of dark grey really dark grey black and basically for everything you want to add luminance and reflection and then go to for, for the black one it's not so important because it's only a backdrop kind of thing and I'm going to set that to about 33, 34 that'll be fine and then for this one you also want to make it a dark grey actually I'll make that one fully black and then I'm going to set that to about 36 something like that there we go and then I'm going to drag and drop that onto the back one like that see I've never really got how to make the caps a different colour but this way I find is it gives a better style effect even though um, even though it's kind of different so you want to make another new one this is for the you can do this whatever colour you want but I'm going to make mine purple because you know how much I love purple. Actually, I'll make it blue. Why not? No, I'll make it purple. Um, so there we go. A nice purpley colour. And you want to click luminance and reflection again. These are the two I use for pretty much everything. Put that on 30. And then go to another purple. And reflection. Still purple. And about 34. So then, whoops, my mouse is really retarded, I'm sorry about this. I might have to use my trackpad in a minute, oh Christ, go on the right one. Alright, what am I doing? Alright, I'm using my trackpad now, this is ridiculous. There we go. Okay, so it's already looking quite nice, and if we render that out, it's going to give you that, but just don't worry about that unless you do have it and it's going to take forever to render at the moment but I probably won't be able to show you the final product just because of rendering times I'll give you like a little glimpse of it but if you go to render settings now this is where it's all gonna 
come in handy. I, I usually make it 1 920 by 1 080. Depends on what I'm designing though. Um, save. You want to click on save as PNG with an alpha channel and that will make it so it's got a transparent background. Go on global illumination. Just tick that and leave as it is. Actually, I usually change it up to sophisticated. That's not sophisticated, is it? Sto stochastic, whatever the hell that is. Um, Ambient occlusion, I'm going to apply that, but I'm going to bring the maximum ray length right down because I don't want too many reflections. And then the three, I always add depth of field and I always add lens, no, sorry, not lens effects, what am I doing? Um, I always add colour correction. I think that's it. Yeah, they're the three I usually use. And that's it really so that should give you a nice effect and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys pretty simple but um, a lot of people asked for it and there'll be more to come see you later